One thing you've got to remember though, when you talk about getting the uh, punishment's also got to get to that. <laughs> How come everybody interrupts? <laughs> Brian the Scare Lion back with another video and joined once again by Pterodactyl Tom. Wah, wah. Basically we are continuing our weekend of predictions. Yesterday we did the NXT TakeOver predictions, uh, today we are going to be doing the Royal Rumble 2019 predictions. Well, we would imagine that we're not. Couple of matches, not really looking forward to. One match, definitely in the wrong position on the card. Well, with all that being said, let's get into the predictions. And now we'll start off with the matches that we've heard are on the pre-show. In the first match, it's not really a surprise, uh, the Cruiserweight Championship being defended on the pre-show. It usually happens there. And this match is a four-way fatal match, and this is between the champion Buddy Murphy, Belisto, Hideo Itami, and Hira Tozawa. Who do you think is going to win this one and why? I, I think Buddy Murphy's going to return it. You saying Buddy Murphy? I, I don't I don't see any real competition for him in him. I think you know that Mustafa always left to go to SmackDown. I don't know. I dare see competition. I just don't see it being utilised properly. Like, uh, my pick in this match is Hideo Itami. And Hideo Itami is fucking fantastic. Yeah. But the problem is, WWE don't know what to do with him. Like Mace of the 205 locker room. WWE just don't know what to do with them. I said just scrap the whole top five live. Put them on bed for the shows. Aye. That's what I would have done. And move some of them then into NST as well. Mm. So next up we have got the United States Championship match, which isn't really a surprise. Rusev and Shinsuke on the pre-show. Shinsuke is boring, but we, we need to see Rusev being pushed up a bit. And we need to see this championship being pushed up a bit again. It's, it's not just that. We barely see Shinsuke on TV as it is. No. And we're getting him on the pre-show. Rusev has been relegated to the pre-show so many fucking times. And he is one of the best athletes on fucking SmackDown. No, uh, but that's mainly because the United States Championship, he's always gone for that. And that is a really, really, really worthless title at the moment. It's more worthless than uh, the Universal Championship, and that's saying a lot. But in this match, um, I'm, I'm saying Ruru to retain. No, I'm saying the same. Rusev is fucking incredible, and seeing him holding the championship, he fucking deserves it. I was so happy when he got it, and I just want to see him keep a hold of it. Yeah. Going on. What length they run with. Mm. Uh, and I think Shinsuke needs to leave and actually pursue other things. Pursue things that'll actually be useful to him because WWE just don't know what the fuck they're doing with him. Uh, I'd say he needs to go back to New Japan. Ma like, more than likely, I. Where it proper Sean. Now on to the main show and the first match that I'm not really looking forward to. Uh, this is the Smack SmackDown Tag Team Championship match between The Bar and Shane McMahon and The Miz or the best tag team in the world. I'm really not looking forward to this. Or they, they can be named as the sweatiest tag team <laughs> in the world. Uh, the truth is, The Miz, great competitor, fucking amazing. Yeah. Cesaro, again, amazing. Sheamus, really good. When they say amazing, but he is really good. Yeah. Shane is just an old man now. I used to love watching these matches back in the day. Like when he used to just take on the odd match, like hardcore match or, you know, just last man standing, uh, shit like that. They really interested me, but he's just, he's an old man now. And he's no wrestler. I can, I can see, like, wrestlers as old men still wanting to date and that. Uh, but Shane was always behind the scenes taking the odd match here and there. Mm. Not a full time performer. Exactly. And... The sweaty old bastard really isn't the best in the world, is he? No. Nope. But in this match, I'm going, I'm, I'm taking, I don't want to say it, but I'm taking Shane and Miz. So am I, Brian, so am I. So next up we have got the Raw Women's Championship, which is Ronda Rousey versus Sasha Banks. Mm -hmm. Who have you got in this, Brian, and why? I'm taking a risky one here. I'm taking Sasha Banks to win this one. I know it's more than likely not going to happen. Like, Ronda Rousey's the golden girl. Be protected at all times. But 
Sasha Banks is so much better. Like, uh, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that Ronda's crap in the ring. Uh, she's but wrong. Sasha is amazing in the ring. Sasha's amazing on the mic. Like, everything today with Sasha has been perfect, and yet she's been shoved to the side. I want this win for Sasha. Well, I'm going in like the same kind of direction as you. I'm going to say Sasha Banks is going to win. Mm. But I'm saying it for a different reason. One that you'll explain later. Yep. So next up, we have the SmackDown Women's Championship match. This is Becky Lynch versus Asuka. I'm really looking forward to this match. Who do you think is going to win and why? I'm going to Asuka. Uh, uh, have her retain the, have her retain the title and get uh, Becky Lynch into the Rumble. Hmm. That's the smartest move for the WWE to make. And you never know, uh, it could start up a little rivalry with somebody else. Possibly. Well, for me in this one, uh, I'm taking Asuka as well. Um, but for different reasons. Reasons, you're gonna explain later. reasons I'll explain later. So next up we have got the WWE Championship match which is Daniel Bryan versus AJ Styles. These two have proved time, time and time again why they are the two top in Smackdown so it's going mm. to be an, once again a really really good match. Yeah, it really is. So who have you got in this then? Uh, before we get on to who I've got in this I want to point out one simple little thing. What? WWE stated that they were done with automatic rematches, right? Yep. But yet they've managed to wiggle their way around to have AJ Styles versus Daniel Bryan for the championship. To have Becky Lynch versus Asuka for the championship. Yep. To have Rusev versus Shinsuke for the championship. Does they really look like much is changing? Can I stop you a second as well? I, I said that wrong. It's not Daniel Bryan. It's the new no. Daniel Bryan. But in this match, I feel like Daniel Bryan should hold on to the championship. Retain. Which is, has gone against every little inch of me. Because I said that I would never pick anybody except for AJ Styles in this situation. Mm -hmm. But I just feel like Daniel Bryan should retain. No, he should. No. But I'm picking AJ Styles because... <laughs> Because I said I would never stop picking AJ Styles. Yep. I'm losing this one, but I'm losing it sticking to my guns. Yeah, but I'm um, saying Daniel Bryan is not always in the title. Just yeah, always at WrestleMania. WrestleMania, I think. Mm. Where's the vegan championship, Daniel? Mm. We, we were told we were getting a vegan championship. Next up, we have the Universal Championship match. Uh, this is Finn Balor against Brock Lesnar. Originally supposed to be... Braun versus Brock. Who have you got and why? I'm probably going to lose this one, but I'm taking Finn. You're taking Finn in I'm this? I'm taking Finn as a uh, transitional jump. Mm. He's, got, he's going to hold it until Elimination Chamber. And then that's what they're going to have Braun Strowman. Braun. I don't to Braun. Yeah. Because they don't really want to make Braun look like Brock's a bitch, do they? Mm. And they could have like Finn Balor get a surprise win. Mm. Over Brock. For me, I am going to be taking Brock Lesnar in this. Uh, for reasons that I'll explain later. Uh, I, I don't want to give you too much away, but I've got my reasons. So next up, we've got the 30 Women Royal Rumble match. Who's in that match, Brian? Uh, well, I've got a list here. There's 23 being announced so far. Yeah. With 7 spots still left to take, which will probably be taken by NXT Women or Legends. Yes. But here's who we've got so far. Natalia, Bailey, Ember Moon, Lacey Evans, Alexa Bliss, Ruby Riot, Sa Sarah Logan, Liv Morgan, Mickey James, Alicia Fox, Mandy Rose, Sonya Deville, Zelina Vega, Charlotte Flair, Naomi, Tamina, Peyton Rice, Billy Kay, Dana Brooke, Lana, Nia Jax, Nikki Cross, and the number 30 spot, Carmella. Oh, true. <laughs> oh, true. There's our first little thing. <laughs> Would they expect our truth to try to come out at the number 30 spot? Well? It's not true, it's bound to happen. Go on, who's your pick here? My pick here is going after the Raw Women's uh, Championship match. I've got Ronda to lose the title and then to come in at the Royal Rumble and win the Rumble because she's done everything so far. She, she had uh, one of the best matches at WrestleMania. Mm. 
Summer Slam, she takes the title off uh, Alexa Bliss. And then she has this lengthy run where undefeated as champ as well. Well, for me, I'm taking... Mine goes back to the SmackDown Women's Championship. For me, I'm taking Ember Moon to win this and decide to face Asuka at WrestleMania for the championship. That would be a great match. Uh, Because we've seen in the past that they don't always put the winner of the Rumble at the main event. No, they don't. They probably will stick with Ronda and either Becky or Charlotte or both of them for the main event. But I feel like Ember Moon wins this and then goes on to have a fucking incredible match again against Asuka, only this time for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Next up, we have the Men's Rumble. Uh, again, I've got a list here, only 19, I, only 19 people have been announced for this, so we're gonna get a lot of surprise entrants in this. Uh, the names we have so far are John Cena, Dean Ambrose, Seth Rollins, Samoa Joe, Drew McIntyre, Kofi Kingston, Big E, Xavier Woods, Apollo Crews, Baron Corbin, Elias, (coughs) Jinder Mahal, Jeff Hardy, Bobby Lashley, Andrade, Rey Mysterio, Mustafa Ali, Randy Orton, and the number 30 entrant, Archer. Oh, Jimmy. Who have you got in this one and why? I've been saying Drew Drew McIntyre around this time, but I I reckon they're going to have a a surprise entrant. Surprise entrant for the winner? I think so. I don't know how it's going to be, but I reckon they're going to do that to us. Like, uh, Drew is com- coming into the Rumble with the most momentum. But, mm. fuck, I'm just sticking with my gut. I'm saying Drew. You're saying Drew? I'm saying Drew. It's Drew's time to make the event. Huh? For me, I am going with the actual person who has the most momentum going into this. I'm going with Seth Rollins to win this. Seth Rollins is coming out of the best year he's had in WWE. Like, literally, he was the superstar of last year. Uh, So I feel like they're going to cap that off by actually having them win the Rumble. And and going back to what I was saying with the Universal Championship match, it would be fantastic to see his opponent beat Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania. Yeah. So who have you got for the uh, surprise entrance in this in both of the Rumbles? Well, uh, for the male Rumble, (laughs) it's not really a surprise. It's been talked about a lot. But I'm saying Alistair Black is actually going to be in this year's Rumble and it's going to be fucking fantastic just to see him come in and just wipe everybody out who's in the ring. Eventually he will be thrown out, but he's going to put on a fucking amazing show when he's in that. Obviously, it's Alistair Black. And for the women's, I'm going to go with Lita. <laughs> I'm going to say, it, say that we're going to see Lita in the Rumble again. Right. And it's just going to be a brilliant feel-good moment. For me... For the men's, I'm saying Leo Rush. Leo Rush? I'm saying Leo Rush <laughs> is going to actually get his own spot in the Rumble. Fucking hell, right? And um, for the women's, I'm saying Trish. Trish? Trish. So we're going with another Lita. appearance. We're going with Lita and Trish on that. Uh, and they're going to have a stare down, and then Mickey James is going to have that stare down with them because she's next in line, isn't she? I'll change my men's to Jim Zellsworth. Jim Zellsworth. <laughs> Jim Zellsworth makes a surprise fucking comeback and tries entering the Rumble. No Jimmy. <laughs> oh, I'd um, rather have one of the Godfather's horse fucking going at the men's fucking Rumble. Uh, we do have a prediction request, which is an odd one. Uh, this was request, requested by Ian. Yeah. And he requested that we predict how Kofi Kingston will stay in the Rumble. Oh, this is a hard one because it's done. <laughs> Pretty much everything, and they try to fucking get Naomi to fucking do that coffee thing. Uh, that doesn't work. Only yeah, really coffee can it. get can do coffee things. <laughs> I'm saying that he's gonna get caught up on the bottom rope on his way out, mm. and he's gonna like, sort of a handstand, but instead of that, he's gonna be using the bottom rope. Uh, Something along those lines. I mean, it's not as exciting as the rest, but. It's hard to think of something as exciting as he's already done. It is. I reckon he's going to get caught by um, Norway Jose's conga line. Because I reckon Norway Jose is going to be in it. I did not think of that one. Where, and they just start fucking dancing or in the ring, hoarding them up. Hoarding up on the shoulders and the eye. And then he's going <laughs> no, to go all the way around the ring like once or twice. And then he's just going to hop on 
I'm gonna get back in the ring. <laughs> Just, no, wait. Kofi, no, wait. Kofi. Yeah. But there's our predictions for this year's Rumble. Um, in the comment section, I actually want yours a lot to answer Ian's question. How do you think Kofi will be saved in the Rumble? One thing that we forgot to mention yesterday was the fact that obviously there's going to be predict uh, there's going to be a forfeit for these predictions, yeah. but there will obviously also be a forfeit for takeover. takeover predictions. Would you like to tell them what the takeover predictions forfeit is? Um, women's wins then to your eye. Yep. Whoever loses the takeover prediction will be taking a lemon to the eye, which is going to sting like fuck. Yep. And whoever has to do it is going to be in tremendous pain. Yep, you're going to need to wash your eyes straight afterwards. And as for the forfeits for the rumble, <laughs> uh, this may just look like a toy. Yep, it's going to hurt like fuck. But it's going to hurt like hell. Basically, the loser of the rumble predictions is going to be doing jumping jacks Barefoot on Lego. Yeah, but it's gonna fuck. <laughs> it's gonna hurt like fuck, and I am looking forward to it. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. But I we hope you enjoyed this video. Is there anything pterodactyl Tom would like to say? Wah! Wah! <laughs> uh, but I, if you did like this video, but fuck that like button, please.